In this video, we're going to walk through some of the basic functions of the Onyx software, including opening and printing your first job, editing jobs in Job Editor, and printing a cut job with cut marks and a cut file. The first time you launch RipQ, you'll see the printers that you installed during the installation process listed in the printer section of RipQ. The first thing you'll want to do is navigate over to the printer information section. You'll see that your media profile is listed and your page size is listed. You can select the gear icon here to make adjustments to these. This is where you come to make any changes to the media profile that you want to use when opening jobs. And then also if you want to change the page size to match what's loaded on the printer, this is where you would do so as well. To rip and print our first job, I'm going to go to Open. It will bring up the Open File dialog box. I've got my samples folder selected here. Opening your job is as easy as selecting the file and clicking open. You'll see that our job has come into the queue. If we select it, we'll get percentages on the rip process as it's ripping the file to prepare it to be ready for printing. I've got my preview already. And when my job finishes ripping, you'll see that is in a waiting to print state. And in my print preview, I have a nest preview that shows me how my job is going to print in relation to my media width and show me how much length that job is going to take up when I print this job. If everything's good and I want to print the job, all I need to do is click print now. I'll get my percentage and I can hear my printer already receiving the job and warming up to start printing. Once your job's completed, it will move from the jobs ready to print area into the buffered section where if you need to bring it back up to the jobs ready to print area at any time, you can just simply drag and drop the job. And you can see that it's ready to print again. The next thing I'd like to take a look at is quick sets. In Onyx, quick sets are a way for you to apply a certain number of settings to a job each time that a job is open using that quick set. Inside of RipQ, we have a couple different places to get to quick sets. If you just want to make edits to an existing quick set, you can select Edit Quick Sets from within RipQ. But if you're looking to create a new quick set, you'll want to go into Configure Printer, say yes that it's going to shut down the server, and you'll see that our default tab is the Quick Sets tab. Inside of here, I just have my default quick set for now, but I'm going to select New to create a new quick set. When I do so, I get the dialog for the new quick set, and you can see all of the different options that can be changed for a quick set. Things like media profiles, print modes, color management settings, cutter options for assigning cut marks when ripping files, operator instructions, sizing rules to change the size of jobs that come through a quick set, you can set the number of copies per quick set. You can do rotation, things like mirror, reflect at print time, change the bit depth for processing, and also some multi-page PDF options. If we select the advanced options, we can see there's even more options that can be defined for a quick set. There's tiling options. We can do color correction. There are finishing options to apply grommet marks, bleed, trim, things of that nature. In the print section, we have options for job ticketing, for workflow and output modifications. And then lastly, PSPDF includes some advanced postscript and PDF processing options. I'm going to back out of this. And for the sake of this example, I'm just going to create a quick set that gives me six copies of an image. And let's go ahead and add some rotation as well. I'm going to say rotate 90 degrees. The important thing is I want to make sure and name my quick set. So we'll just put in here six copies, 90 rotation, and click OK. You can see I now have my new quick set, and I'm going to click OK. Now, when I'm opening jobs in RipQ, I can select that quick set from the quick set dropdown, and those settings will automatically be applied to that job. So I'm going to my open dialog box. And right here for my quick set drop down, 
I'm going to make sure and select six copies, 90 rotation. I'll select my file, and I'll select open. As soon as the file comes into RIPQ, you can see already that my number of copies is set to six. And as the job begins to process and gives me my RIP preview, I can see already that my job has rotated 90 degrees just like we expected it to. There's no limitation in Onyx for how many different quick sets you can have. Some examples would be using a quick set to define a media profile for each media profile that you have and or print mode. You can use quick sets to define pre-configured settings for applications such as banners, stickers, canvas wraps, tiled jobs, or anything else that you may need a quick set for to make it easier for you to streamline jobs through your production process. Next, we're going to take a look at Job Editor. Job Editor is our pre-flighting application that allows you to make modifications to files in real time. I'm going to select one of the files in my RIP queue. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say open in Job Editor. My file will open in Job Editor and show me a preview of what that file looks like. Inside of Job Editor, there are main tabs up here that give you an idea of what functions are possible inside of Job Editor. Printer and Media allows you to change printer and media settings, as well as make modifications to the color management settings. You can also select for contour cutting selection here, if this is a job that's going to have cutting involved with it. On the Preview and Size tab, I can make adjustments to the size of my image, I can perform a crop on it, I can rotate my image, and I have some options here for multi-page PDF. The tiling tab is if you're going to be doing tiling for this job. Once you enable it, you have all of the controls to do the tiling where you can split a large job into multiple sections to fit on your printer. Under color correction, I can make adjustments to the file, including primary color curves. Clicking on the tools shows all of the different options we have for making adjustments to an image inside of Job Editor. On the finishing tab, I have the ability to add my bleed, my trim box, I can assign grommet marks, and then we have a general marks tab for things like registration marks, crop outlines, and even custom sewing and folding marks. This is also where you would control the print label information, as well as some options for generating a contour path for cutting automatically. And then finally on the print tab, is where I can change some of my print setup options, change the job name, adjust the number of copies, and then of course submit my job to RIPQ. In this video, let's make a couple of adjustments to the file. I'm going to go to my Preview and Size tab, and I'm going to say I want this file to print 50% scale. So you can see that my image size has changed. And then let's say we want to make some adjustments to the colors. I'm going to come in and add 25% cyan, as well as 25% magenta. And if you notice in real time, it's giving me a preview of what those adjustments look like. I'm going to come to the Tools section. We're going to come into the Color and Gray levels. And I'm going to adjust the contrast by 21%. All of that looks good. I'm going to come to the Print tab. And I'm going to click Submit. Once I'm back in RIPQ, my job will now re-RIP and apply those new settings. And after completed ripping, my job is now previewing as part of the print preview. Now that we've got a couple jobs in our RIPQ, I've gone ahead and bumped the number of copies up on this particular job so that we can illustrate how nesting works inside of RIPQ. So by default, when I look over here at my placement strategy setting, it's set to print jobs individually. If we want to nest jobs together, we have a couple different options. I select the drop down, and I can select conserve media. You'll see in real time that our print preview is going to change. Conserve media nests jobs together in the most efficient manner to reduce waste as best as possible. So you can see, even though my jobs are in a different order, they're nesting in the most efficient way possible. Coming back to our placement strategy options, we're going to select group jobs together. 
And you can see once again that my nest will update to reflect how the jobs are going to print. Group jobs together will nest jobs based on the order that they are listed inside of RIP queue. The next one is print jobs individually, which will only nest one job at a time, the top job in RIP queue. So if I were to take this job and move it up in priority, you'll see my print preview is going to nest this job with the six copies instead of the horizontal job with the five copies. And the last option is Fotoba Discus or Flexa Cutter Marks. This placement strategy is going to add cut marks for XY cutters such as the Fotoba Discus or Flexa Cutters. So for the sake of this, I want to use group jobs together. I've got my nest that's updated here. And I want these five copies, the horizontal copies, to print prior to the six vertical copies. So I'm just going to move them up in the queue. You can see my nest updates in real time. That looks good to me. I'm going to click print now. Both of my jobs status changes to printing. And the jobs are being sent to my printer. The last item we're going to discuss in this video is printing a cut job. When ripping and printing a cut file in Onyx, there are two key factors. The first is that the file is set up correctly with a spot color inside of it denoting what the cut paths are. The second is to make sure that when the job is in RIP queue, it has the correct contour cutter marks assigned to it prior to printing. One really nice resource in our samples file is we have a folder named cutting and inside of that cutting folder is a cut contour sample. I highly recommend using this file when setting up your cutting workflow for the first time. I'm going to select the cut contour sample and I'm going to select to open it in RIP queue. Once my file is done ripping, I'm going to do like we did before and I'm going to take it into job editor. Inside of job editor, the first thing I'm going to notice is these pink lines. This is a preview of the cut path that we're recognizing inside of this file. On the printer and media tab, where I have my contour cutter selection, you can see I have the check mark for preview cut path. This is on by default. I can check this option to turn on and off the cut path preview. As long as everything looks like you expect it to, the next thing you want to do is select the contour cutter that you're going to be cutting this file with. In this drop down, you can see these are all the different manufacturers and cutter types that we support in the Onyx software. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to select the GraphTech cutter. At this point, you would make any other changes necessary to this file in Job Editor, but if you don't need any of those, you can select Print and submit the job to RIP queue. Once my file is done ripping, the first thing I want you to notice is in the cutter heading, I have GraphTech Cutter assigned to this job. The second thing is that if you look closely on this print preview, which can be enlarged with this button here, you can see that there's been some white space added in my nest preview around my image. This is showing me that the area for the barcode and the cutter marks is being accounted for, and that's where they're going to print when my job prints. I'm going to click close on the print preview, and I'll send this to my printer. After your job's completed printing, you'll see the barcode and cutter marks that are on the outside of that job. The next step would be to launch cut server. The first time you launch cut server, it's going to ask you to add a cutter. We chose the GraphTech marks for printing our job, so I'm going to add one of the GraphTech cutters. After adding the cutter, you can see I have my cutter in the left hand section of cut server here and there's already a job. If I select that job you can see it's the job we just printed so I know that my cut file created. One more important step before cutting this job is we want to come back into the configure cutter section and we want to configure the port settings for our particular cutter. After you've done that correctly you are now ready to select the job, load it on the cutter and select cut now 
for the cutter to go scan the marks and cut the file. Thanks for watching this video, which was a quick overview of how to use the Onyx software. For more in depth videos on features and functions in the Onyx software, please see the Onyx TV YouTube page.